it's written that we have a table employee and in that table we have the columns as employee id name supervisor salary and employee id is the primary key column for this particular table each row of this table uh, indicates the name and the id of an employee in addition to their salary and the id of their manager okay so we have a uh, like name of name and the id of an employee in addition to their salary that is in the salary column and the supervisor is their manager okay so the another table that we have is the bonus table in the bonus table we have employee id and bonus and in this table employee id is the primary key as well and employee id is a foreign key to employee id from the employee table okay so each row of this table contains the id of an employee and the respective bonus okay so we have to write the sql query to report the names and bonus amount of each employee with a bonus less than 1000 okay so we need to get the name and the amount of bonus for the employees who received less than 1000 bonus for a particular uh, year okay the result can be in any order so if we see one example you can see in the employee table we have employee id 3124 and the things that are here are Brad, John, Diane, and Thomas. So Brad ka supervisor is null, John ka is three, Dan ka is three, Thomas ka is three. Brad ki salary is four thousand, John ki is thousand, Dan ki is two thousand, and Thomas ki is four thousand. And bonus table mein, the employee ID two that is Dan, he got the bonus of how much? He got the bonus of five hundred, and in the employee ID 4, Thomas got a uh, bonus of what? 2000. And there is uh, no uh, particular, what do you call it? Uh, no particular name, no particular bonus thing mentioned for Brad and John. Right? We don't have the employee ID in the bonus table. So we are considering that they don't, didn't get any bonus. So in our output, we should give the name of the employees that have received how much of bonus less than 1000 so that will include the employee id 21 and brad and john because we are considering that they did not get any bonus because they are not in the bonus table okay so this is how your output should look like name of the employee and amount of bonus they get easy so when you get such kind of thing when you when you need to print out name and bonus from the two tables. So you need to do a join, right? You need to combine the two tables. So first of all, I'll just write the syntax for joining. Join bonus. Okay. So I'll just give it an alias of E and bonus square, I'll give it at B. And I'll say from E table, I need the name of the employee. And from the B table, I need the bonus. Okay. And the common column between both of them is employee ID. As the name of both the columns, common columns is same. So I can use you using here. Or you can also write on E dot employee ID is equals to B dot employee ID. But whenever the name of the common key column is same, you can just use using it. So I'll just write using employee ID. So let's first see what we get by running this thing. One second. Uh, Okay, so we are getting an answer, right? We are getting one, answer. you can see that. Can you please mute yourself, whoever is on, uh, whoever is unmuted? Akhil, please mute yourself. Yeah. So we are getting one answer. In that answer, we are getting this thing, name 
and bonus of Dan and Thomas. Okay. Why we are getting for Dan and Thomas only? Because these are the common records between both the tables. Right now, I'm trying to perform an inner join. So inner join will return the common record from both the table. If you remember, the common records from both the table uh, will be here for the employee ID 2 and employee ID 4. Let me just remove this once. Let me show you how this is working right now. One second. Yeah. So right now I'm getting uh, the records for the records for employee ID 2 and 4 because these are the common records between both the table. If you can see, we have employee ID 2 and 4 here and employee ID 2 and 4 here as well. Okay. So now this, this thing will not work. I'll tell you why. But right now in our output, we don't want that the bonus should be less, uh, bonus should be more than 1000. So if I use this condition where bonus is less than 1000 and still use it to print out the result, it will still give me the wrong answer. And I'll tell you why. Because we are just printing out the name of Dan and we are leaving Brad and John behind. If they are not present in our table, that means that they may not have received any bonus, right? So this thing will not work for us. Inner join will not work. Right now, we need all the records from the left table, right? We need all the records that are present here. So we need all the names, Brad, John, Dane, Thomas. Then we need to combine it with the bonus table. And then we need to add the condition to check out if the bonus is less than 1000 or not. So instead of this, I'll perform a left join. Now, <clears throat> let's see what's happening now. So we are still getting Dan 500, okay? And we want Brad and John too. Why? Because right now we are comparing the values. Ki, okay, bonus should be less than 1000. But we are not considering that the bonus in the bonus table that the bonus can be null as well. The null values can be there for bonus too. So what I can write here is I can say where bonus is less than 1000 or bonus is null. Okay. So let me show you why I'm, why I'm writing this condition. Let me just give you one output first. I'll print everything so that you can see what I'm getting. Let me remove this condition too. Now see what is the output I'm getting here. I'm printing out everything by joining this, by joining this. One second, sorry. Where is this? Yeah, okay. So now you can see I'm getting uh, employee ID 2, Dan, uh, supervisor 3, salary 2000 and bonus 500, okay? Now if I do where bonus is less than 1000 or bonus is null. That means that there is no bonus. So now I'll get Brad, John and Dan. I'm getting Brad, John and Dan, everything that I need I'm getting. But I just need to print out the name and the bonus. So I'll just print out e dot name, comma b dot bonus. So now you can see the output that I'm getting is fine. It is working. But there's one more way in which we can uh, simplify this query and that is by using Colace. So how Colace works is, let me show you. Suppose you have null values in your bonus column, right? So you can use Colace there and you can just write this, this is my, I'll show you Kules first. So if we have the value of bonus, let it be that. Let it be the value. For example, we have the value 500, 2000 or anything. Let it be there. But if we have a null value, 
replace it with zero. If you want, you can replace it with 100 too. If you want, you can replace it with something else like 200, 2000, whatever. Okay. So right now what I'm doing here is I'm using Colace. If I have a bonus right now, it will be, uh, if, if I have the bonus value in the column, it will remain same. But I, if I don't have bonus, then if the value that I have is null, then the value I'm replacing it with zero. Okay. I will show you with the help of a link. So if you can see in this table, we have a, a, a stock table in which we have products, their brand, subcategory, category, okay? You can see in the brand, we have few null values, right? So if we use Colace here, then what will happen is, I'll just write Colace and I'll write brand. And after that, I'll put a comma. Uh, for example, they have used it for subcategory. They have used subcategory comma, no subcategory as subcategory. So now you can see in subcategory for tomatoes, we are having null, right? And for uh, tomatoes, we are having null, sorry. One second, let me open it again. Yeah, for tomatoes, we are having null and for bananas, we are having null and hamburger, we are having null, right? And I'm using Colais for that. So I'm using Colais subcategory and I'm putting a comma and writing no subcategory, right? So wherever subcategory is present, for example, uh, pork ribs, it's present, lettuce is present and uh, hamburger is present. It will give the same value for that, okay? But if the, some, uh, if some at some place we have null values, then it will replace that null value with what? It will replace it with no subcategory. So in your output, you can see uh, corresponding to tomatoes, the subcategory is no subcategory. Corresponding to hamburger, it's no subcategory. Corresponding to bananas, it is no subcategory again. So do you understand how this is working? How Colace works? Any doubt in that? Do you understand how this is working? Yes or no? So I'll be just using this to join, let's join bonus B. And I'll just use what? Use employee ID for the same. And I'll use uh, where you can, if you are confused, you can always refer to the, uh, uh, how this thing is working by referring to any example. I think it's on W3 as well, but totally up to you. You can refer to any example that you want, okay? So I'll just write where Colais bonus comma zero is less than 1000, okay? And I'll run this now. So yeah, now you can see I have the same output, Brad, John, Dan, and I'm getting the same things as my answer. So I want everyone that is there in the class to please run this uh, command and see if you're able to solve this or not.